Well, I'm excited for two reasons. Today we're gonna to take a look at this vehicle, bash it around, let you know if it's worth your hard earned money. They're classifying this as a 10th scale four wheel drive basher. It is brushless and it very much resembles a, a, a very well known brand. Yeah, the body and the look and everything, but there's something inside that I've only seen on one brand of vehicle ever before and it's the battery tray and the way this system works. Check it out. That's Traxxas. Absolutely, you just, it's no body clips, no screws. You press it and then this swivels at 100%. Yeah, so I'm a little surprised at this. Yeah, this is cheap and we can't complain. And I use the word cheap as relative as possible when comparing this to other 10th scale vehicles, truly 10th scale vehicles, it is cheap. A hundred bucks ain't cheap though, so bear that in mind. This has a tiny brushless motor. That's small. We've seen that on like 16th scale and smaller, this size of brushless motor. I'm just not so sure how this is gonna perform. We're gonna try to bash it on the hill, have some fun today, and like I said in the beginning, let you know if it's worth your hard earned money. The second reason that I'm excited. <laughs> I was waiting for it. <laughs> number two, check it out. We have been looking at this hill for seven years now together, and we think that it looks like they're probably going to install some stairs here soon. We just pulled up and this was here. So, you know, what are the RC sailors? Yeah, it's mainly about the RC, but we try to throw in little things that's going on around us and stuff too in our lives. And this is not only in our lives, but all of our subscribers' lives as well because of the hill. It could be changing soon. So let's enjoy the progress. That's one more reason to subscribe and hit the notification bell if you haven't already. <laughs> Power this thing on and have some fun with it. So hit the notification bell so you can see what this ends up, hap what ends up happening. You know, I mean, there's a lot of guys out there that would subscribe to a channel just to see that, yeah. <laughs> you'd, be, you'd be amazed. Batteries in, I should mention this is a 2S LiPo. Completely ready to run. That's with a, I'm pretty sure it was a USB charger if I remember right. Now, this probably is gonna be fun because this style of vehicle is usually pretty fun. Oh yeah, that's a good basher. Totally a knockoff of what everyone is thinking, right? I didn't want to get you with gravel, Abby. <laughs> You know what else is a knockoff? One more thing, VXL. It says VXL on the side. Yep. Man, I mean, that's like, could they be more blatant? <laughs> it's the most knockoffish vehicle I've seen. Now listen to Whoa. it when it runs though. Listen, I wanna shut up and listen, let you guys hear the pass. If is you it listen, the tires? If you listen past the tires, okay? Try not to listen to the tires themselves and listen. It sounds a little geary, like it's uh, grinding a little bit. It also needs to trim pretty bad, so let's <laughs> turn that up. Now look, there's a lot of guys out there that are Traxxas fans, maybe even Arma fans. They would proudly get in front of the camera and say, don't buy that, spend 300 more dollars and buy the real deal. Now, actually, this is pretty fast, Abby. I thought it'd be underpowered. That's quick. To those people I say, boo on you, even poo on you, because not everybody makes RC their main main hobby. Maybe they got three or four other hobbies. Also, maybe they just don't have 400 bucks to spend on an RC. I like to get people into the hobby. We call these basically introductory vehicles. You might buy two or three vehicles like this before you buy a Traxxas or an Arma, low C or an HPI. And there's nothing wrong with that. Don't let anyone ever tell you otherwise. Cause this is fun and it's not rolling. I'm gonna blast it up the hill here. And um, I'm very impressed so far with this. And then Abby, you'll take up the controls and really show us how it's done. Oh, oh, you know what? We'll just do one flip, pass it off. Thanks. Instead of the rule of three, it's yours. All right. You're gonna like this. I mean, it really is fun. I think I got it trimmed up pretty well too. You, you just put me to shame so bad. <laughs> Abby's good with the ground vehicles. Nice roll. Now listen, also part availability is gonna be harder to come by on something like this. You buy an actual Traxxas, you can go in a hobby shop, you go anywhere and get the spare parts, right? But the, the price to get running is much cheaper. 
This is really fast and fun though. I was just looking at this thing without running it. I was expecting to jump in front of the camera and show you guys it run and say, yeah, it's kind of not worth it. But I'm, I'm not thinking that right now as I see it run. This thing's got a lot of power. Yeah. I'm surprised it doesn't have a wheelie bar. It doesn't. So it did come with the rear spoiler off of the vehicle and I had to install it with two screws, but it's held in there really well. It's pinched in. It's, uh, it's pinched in and it's got the screws holding it. So I don't think that's going anywhere. It did. You know what's kind of funny? It did come with a rear body standoff where those body clips go in and the body pins are sticking up on the back. The whole plastic piece that is the rear body pin standoff. It came with an extra one of those. That looks good, Abby. <laughs> oh, that is your turn to get it. There we go. I think this is like uh, 115, 120, somewhere around there. It is a blast. It really is. Oh, let's take a closer look at this, guys. Oh, there is an on-off switch. It's on the bottom. I didn't think there was. We have a small aluminum plate here. <sighs> Bugs are bad. We have independent shocks. They do feel like they're oil-filled, but they're probably kind of cheap. Place four lights, but it doesn't come with lights. It does, you can hear it. It sounds a little grindy. I don't know if that's all of them or just ours. But I mean, I can't complain too much because of the price. It powers through the grass, no problem. It eats up the dirt, the tires are soft. Abby's having a good time, no complaints from her. Nice. Abby, let's go down to the small hill. So they call it, what is it on the side? Spirit? Sp Sport VXL. It's got the same color scheme, almost the exact same pattern. It's a uh, battery tray is an exact knockoff. It's the only time I've ever seen anyone knock off the Traxxas battery tray. <laughs> That's bold move on these guys. And the radio, get this, the radio that comes with it. That was a nice ramp, Abby. Oh, looks like your back right tire is not spinning. Hold on. Yep, we lost the dog bone. It's popped out, but it's hanging on there. So I can fix that easy. Nah. Yeah, so dog bones pop out. We just had one pop out on one of our race cars recently. Found it too. They just pop out, no big deal. That can be fixed. Sometimes it's hard to get these to pop back in. You gotta get the shock bent up at the right angle. And, and you know what, really to do it to do it right, we might have to actually take this whole thing off. So might have to. you know what, that's probably the end of the video, but not the end of this thing running. Ah, oh, shocks, well, sorry. It might be a slightly shorter video, but you know what? We don't sugarcoat things here on our channel. We don't hide things. If something like this happens, we show you. We were having fun with it. Yes, up until the very last minute, I was gonna be leaning very heavily toward, hey, this really is worth the price. And just because a dog bone popped out doesn't make it any less worth the price. It's a common thing that happens. It happens to all of them. And uh, it's still dangling on there. So we'll pop that back in yeah. one more time. It's At dog least bone. we didn't have to look for it. So I give it props for that. <laughs> like it didn't fall out. Yeah, um, and it's like 95 degrees today. So we're just cooking. Uh, but yeah, this is actually pretty fun. That's not blue aluminum. That just has the protective thing on Did it. Did you tell them it was blue aluminum? Uh, well, it looked like it. Oh boy. It just had the protector on it. <laughs> I thought that brushless motor would be too small for this, but it's a really lightweight vehicle. It is all plastic and it was running really well. I'm really impressed. Honestly, there's a little bit of extra room in there for a larger LiPo. It's just a 2S on a Dean's plug. A lot of thumbs up. There are some, I'm, you guys watch, this won't be on the market very long. Wonder why, okay? So if you like it, you better grab one now. That's all I'm gonna say about that. This will be linked in the description box below. Despite the problem that we had with it, I'm so happy we got out here to drive today. And for this day, I thank God, it's awesome. I'm having a great day. 
Thank you also to our Patreon supporters because you know we couldn't do it without you guys. Without our Patreon support, we wouldn't be able to bring the content as often as we do and it would not be free for everybody. So thank you, thank you, thank you to everybody that donates a dollar or more. Well, we'll have another budget vehicle right around the $100 point video popping up right about now. Thanks a lot for watching. We'll see you there. Bye.